now uh, we are going to open the centrifugal filter of a uh, generator so ensure all safety measures are taken before opening the generator so all you need to do is you have to take out the clamp first which i am opening it now and this clamp has a lock all you need to do is just push the lock and take it out so that the clamp will be out now the clamp is out next thing is you have to just turn the cover centrifugal filter cover so that the cover will get loosened and you can remove the cover yeah now i removed the cover now what you are seeing is the centrifugal filter full set so now we are going to remove it just you have to push it up towards you and you will lift the entire set up yeah that's all so this is how you have to remove the filter and uh, yeah place it in a tray and just check whether there is any abnormalities found inside the filter area and just uh, clean the shaft ensure there is no scratch nothing in the shaft no damage in the shaft just have a look you can see uh, this is uh, lube oil inlet pipe and this is the cover always uh, do the inspection of a cover just uh, clean it maybe some lube oil will be there just clean it clean it with your rags so that uh, any impurities which is deposited on the cover will be removed so next thing is uh, we are going to dismantle the filter we'll see how to dismantle the filter Dismantling the filter you have to place uh, on a vise with a copper sheet so that it don't damage the filter so never use this uh, pipe wrench to open it because if you use a pipe wrench it will damage your thread so keep the nut down the vise and you have to place a spanner and just turn it so that it will be turned so this is how you have to turn never try to use your pipe wrench to open the filter because it may damage the thread of the nut so again remove the cover next thing is you have to remove the dismantle the filter so so for dismantling the filter all you need to do is you have to just hit the spindle with the help of a rubber hammer so the entire filter will be out you can see the sludge deposit on side of the filter and uh, yeah this is how we need to dismantle the filter so you can see yeah you can see this is the filter inside and this is a filter which is inside the centrifugal filter casing so this is uh, inlet filter just clean it nicely and uh, we have to remove all the sludge deposits which is found on the filter so this uh, sludge deposits is an indication of uh, your uh, lube oil condition of generator so o-ring will be there check the condition of the o-ring o-ring should be in a good uh, thing just fold it and see if uh, it's brittle it will show signatures of uh, breakage if it is not uh, showing any kind of that thing you can use the o-ring again just use your spanner uh, sorry use your screwdriver and remove all the sludge which is being deposited uh, in the filter so you have to do the same thing for the casing also so just uh, this casing will be having a kind of uh, gasket which is a very thin sheet of paper so once you just push the paper and you can take out the entire thing out yeah i am doing that now you can see yeah, these are the impurities uh, which is deposited uh, inside the filter that means uh, 
the sludge deposit is bit more only so this centrifugal filter is a very efficient filter so always uh, if you want to know the condition of the lube oil just check your centrifugal filter if the amount of sludge deposited in the filter is high that means your lubrication your oil is uh, about to change and uh, some generators don't have a lube oil purifier in that case this uh, centrifugal filter will be very useful you can now see the amount of sludge which is removed from the filter so this much sludge this much impurities is found in the lube oil okay so i am removing it everything okay so all the sludge is removed okay now uh, i will show how it actually works uh. so this is where it seats uh. this is the nozzle through which the oil enters from outside casing so from here from this area this hole inside the oil comes and it enters through this two this is one nozzle and they will be having two nozzle so the oil comes and the filter will be rotating in this way at a very high rpm so when the oil enters only it get filters through the internal filter so this is how it rotates and uh, it acts like a purifier heavier particles go and stick on the wall so this is what you call it as uh, lube oil centrifuge filter so how the filter functions so it is very simple it is like a purifier only so how our purifier is purifying the lube oil uh, with the help of centrifuge like uh, when it rotates the heavier particles get settled on the wall so the same uh, principle use in this uh, kind of filter so this kind of filter is uh, very useful for the generator so whenever you find this filter is uh, too much dirty that means your oil is uh, is not in a good condition and it plays a major role in keeping your uh, generator lube oil in a clean way in a good condition and how this works so this is your uh, rotor we call this as rotor and this is your rotor body and uh, this is your filter so i showed you how we have to disassemble it so what are all the things that we need to watch when you are uh, cleaning this filter you got a two nozzle over here huh? one nozzle over here and one nozzle over here so always this two nozzle should be clean clean that should not be any choke or something and you got a brass bush over here huh? and this brass bush should not have any kind of uh, scoring mark or something because if it gets scoring mark the rotation of the rotor will get affected so do not use any kind of uh, metal like uh, which may scratch the bush so always use a soft brush or even uh, cloth is okay you can use it so how it works so the lube oil uh, the lube oil from the sump through the priming pump it comes here and this is the nozzle through this nozzle both the nozzle lube oil enters so once the lube oil enters it passes through this filter and i showed you how it rotates when it is in place so the entire part will rotate the entire filter will rotate like this it will rotate in a very high rpm so when the filter rotates and the heavy particle will get deposited in the wall this is the wall body so it get deposited over here and uh, once the filter is happened the lube oil will find its way out through this hole and it will get overflow and goes back to the sump so this is how this filter works and uh, main thing we need to keep it in mind when we are assembling it as i told you have to check the nozzle then you have to check your o ring o ring should be in a very good condition so i am going to box it up so for boxing up as i say every time use some greasing or something grease or uh, anti uh, like uh, 
anti corrosive your wd40 sorry not wd40 it's a copper slip molecule again is i used uh, this grease so boxing up so this uh, the purpose of this coating is the oil when it enters from this way it don't escape through this way so that is the purpose of this so before fitting this uh, cover we need to put a gasket over it it's called a plain sheet so when you put this sheet uh, the advantage is when you are going to clean it you just need to remove the sheet it will come out that's all so before putting the ghee uh, sheet just give a layer of uh, grease put it back so this is how you have to fit the gasket usually we have a company supplied uh, paper for it but also you can use uh, chart paper chart paper is also good for this purpose so that's all fit it in this way yeah See, yeah. the gasket sheet is in place and put it upside down. And the thing is, you have to ensure this double pin is matching with the groove. So, for matching the groove, just you need to press, and it should directly go inside the double pin. So, like this, ah. Huh? see yeah you can see the double pin is in the groove so that means uh, when it is rotating the cover own come out of the body the rotor will uh, rotate along with the whole set then finally we have to put back the nut again uh, ensure your uh, threads are in a good condition so this is your uh, cover and uh, this is your nut for it so now uh, all we need to check is double pin on the nozzle should be clean next we are going to fix back in the system just once you fix it just rotate and see it have to rotate freely that means uh, we assembled this properly and check the o ring is in place now i have to fix the cover okay just uh, put the cover on top just rotate it clockwise that's all you have to tighten it hand tight should be okay a little uh, tap with hammer should be fine okay so that's all i tightened the top cover then the clamp should be put in place Ca clamp will be like a hook type as i said in the beginning just hook it lock it and tighten it it is uh, it works normally like a jubilee clip you know so this is the lock just you have to fix the lock in place yeah that's all now i have to tighten it once it's tightened then our job is done so this is how you have to open dismantle inspect clean and assemble and fix back in place okay that's all we are done with our job